Hi everyone, this is Bonnie from Really Reasonable Ribbon and today I'm going to show you how to make some basic bows with the fabulous new Bow It All tool from Zutter. This tool makes beautiful bows in a variety of styles from a half inch wide all the way to nine and three quarter inches wide. And on top of that it also makes layered bows with one piece of ribbon. In today's video I'm going to demonstrate beginning bows and how to master the locking C-knot. In future videos I'll show additional more complex bows. The tool comes with spool pegs in the back to hold any spooled ribbon that you might be using for your bows. And it also has six pegs which screw into the measured numbered holes with, and lock in place with the wrench that comes with the tool. I'm starting today with 7 8 inch double face satin. And we're going to start with a traditional one loop on each side bow that is 2 inches wide. Um, when, I'm talk when I'm talking about the locking C-knot, you'll hear me talk refer to the cut end of the ribbon and the working end of the ribbon. When you're using spooled ribbon, it's easy to know which is the working end of the ribbon because it's attached to the spool. But if you're working with just cut pieces of ribbon like I often will be, um, I've been making a point on the end of what I'm referring to as my cut end of the ribbon, just so I don't get confused when I'm tying the knot. So we're going to start with our cut end of the ribbon in my left hand. And on the left side, we're going to leave whatever length of a tail I want on my bow, just a little longer than what I, what I want for the tail. So you're going to start with the ribbon behind the two pegs. And the ribbon in your right hand is going to go in between the pegs and around behind the left peg in a figure eight pattern. Since we're only going to do one loop on each side, that's all you need to wrap. We're going to take the ribbon in my right hand through the center, and the ribbons will cross over in the back. With a, This ribbon in my left hand is going to be the center of the bow, and with wider ribbons I like to fold that in half because it will give you a, a thinner and neater center of the bow. So we're going to bring that down around through the center and to the back. So we have our cut end on the bottom, our working end on the top. We're going to switch hands. Working end of the ribbon is in now in my left hand. The cut end is in my right. I'm going to make a loop with my left hand and take the cut end of the ribbon and go over and through the loop. Cut end of the ribbon with the point is in my right hand. Working end is now in my left. And we are going to just lightly tighten the bow. Now the nice thing about this tool is you're always looking at the front of your bow so you can see what's going on. If you want to adjust anything you can go ahead and do that now before you pull it all the way tight. Make sure the center is in the center and not off to one side or the other. Once you're happy with the way the bow looks, you're going to tighten it as much as you can by pulling out to the sides. You don't want to pull up or down. You want to go out to either side. And then before you take it off the pegs, if you want to, you can trim your tails so that they will be the same length. done, just slide it off and you have a perfect little bow. If you look at the back, you can see the C knots. Do you see how it's like a backward C as it twists around? If the back of your knot looks like that, then you've done it correctly. And when you pull on the ends, that knot, that knot is not going to come undone and your bow will not come untied. Now you can make the cutest little half inch bows with this tool and it's so easy and fast. We're doing the same technique that we just did with the other bow. Get it tied. Turn your tails. Slide it off. And a cute little half inch bow. 
Another great part of this tool is what they call their helping hands pegs that you can put in the back. If you're going to make a bow for a greeting card and you want a ribbon along the back, which you can then attach the bow to your card with, you set up your center ribbon in the back. These little clips come with the tool to hold the ribbon on. And that just sits back there while you make your bow. Got my point cut, so I know which is the cut end of my ribbon. And this time we're going to make a triple loop bow. So we're starting out the same way. And we're going to figure eight, and we're going to do three loops on each side. When you got your three loops on each side, you're going to come through the center. You can actually squeeze it together to make it easier. The ribbon in my left hand is what's going to be the center of the ribbon, so I have it folded in half. Bring it down and out through the bottom. I'm going to switch hands now so that my cut ribbon is in my right hand and my working ribbon is in my left, and we're going to make our locking C-knot. We want to make sure that this ribbon in the back is in between there when we're tying our knot so it gets caught up in the bow. Pull it just snug so we can take a look. Make sure it's in the center and make any adjustments you want and when you're happy with it, just gonna pull it as tight as you can out to either side. Release the helping hands. So now we have our triple loop bow. Our tails. And the ribbon to wrap around the card. And it's ready to go. And this bow will slide on that ribbon that you did. So you, once you tape the ribbon to your card, you can still move your bow if you need to adjust where it is. And lastly, I want to show you a really quick layered bow, which is my favorite thing to make on this board. I moved the back pegs so they'll be three inches apart, and the front pegs will be two inches apart. Okay, I have my point, <clears throat> so I know that this is my cut side. We're going to start in the back. I'm going to figure eight around the back pegs, and now we're going to figure eight around the front. Now we're going to go back to the back. And then back to the front, and we'll do one more in the back. <clears throat> so now we're going to have three loops in the back, two loops in the front. Cross over in the back, just like all the other bows. I have the ribbon in my left hand folded in half because it's going to be the center of the bow. Bring it through to the bottom. We're going to switch hands so that my cut end is in my right hand, my working end is in the left. Make the locking C knot. Gently pull it. Check and see if you want to make any adjustments. Sometimes it's easier to pull it tight if you squish your bow down. And then we're gonna pull as tight as we can. your tails and slide your bow off and then just fluff your little loops and there's your pretty layered bow 
Thanks so much for stopping by and watching, and we'll be back with videos with different bows real soon.